Hey coding owls welcome back to my channel now today we are going to talk about a very important concept called as java documentation now when you have written a class let's say you have written a class by name person which i'm going to use in this particular example and now you want to give the data about this person class to someone what is normally you can do you can either go and write the comments or you can give them the data verbally but java has actually provided a concept called as java doc so in this video i am going to show you how to create the java documentation for your own class so let's begin now you can see on the screen that i have got a class person and now i want to create a java documentation for this exact class like we have for string like we have for integer so what can be done so there are a special type of comments which are called as java doc comment how you can give it to them you'll have to use the slash and you'll have to use two stars now you can see when the moment you give it two uh, asterisk signs it becomes a java doc comment and now because i'm writing it on the top of a class i will get access to something called as author so i'm going to write code with z then i'm going to say see there are so many things available so now i'm going to say version so let's say this is for version 1.8 and i have got one more called as since so let's say it is available from jdk 1.5 i can provide it like this next i have got this variable what i'm going to do for this particular variable now is again i'm going to make use of the same pattern two times and uh, represents i'm just going to say represents the name of the person so simple as that again i'll do it for my age okay sorry i'm pressing shift by mistake and now it says what represents the age of a person okay next i am going to write it for the method which is going to return something i'll start the same way so it's a java doc comment you can see the default it has given me the return sign now so i'm going to do what i'll just say returns the name of the person so simple as that next you can see that i have got a setter method so i'll start my java doc comment and let's see what it gives it to me now you can see it has given me the parameter name it says what it accepts the name of the person and set it set it on person object so you can write any description you want as per your requirement i have got again for my getter methods so again it does what i'll quickly write returns the age of the person next is parameter age accepts the age and set it on person object so my class is done now i'm going to do what go into my folder i have created a java docs src i'm quickly going to compile this so let's say cmd java c person dot java so class should not contain any errors compile fine now i want to create the documentation for this now for documentation see i have created java doc in src so i am going to do what go a step back and from here i am going to do my java doc command so now if i say java doc person sorry src slash person dot java you can see it will start creating the documentation and if i go back a level you can see all my packages are actually been created here if i click on index.html you can see class person extend java dot lang dot object since 1.5 there is a constructor i have got the we get age get name set age set name method and my details are here and whatever i have written in my description was actually being sent here in the precise same way now this is not this not going to come in an interview or somewhere but when you want to give it to someone yeah when you want to give your class description or object description to someone this is one of the best way that you can just make a documentation out of it and give it to them so that whenever they require they can just go and check it out i hope you have liked this video do subscribe to my channel thank you